we have here the uh, the SMOFCON 32 presentation for the Seeded World 2015 Worldcon Sasquan, and I turn it over to Sally Worley. Thank you. Ooh, I'm looking out here, and I'm hoping to see everybody here in Spokane, August 19th through the 23rd. It's a Wednesday through Sunday convention. <laughs> so anyway, I've got these three people up here who are working very hard for the convention. They know a lot more about what they are doing than I am. So I'm going to have them tell you what they're doing. Glenn is the first one. Hi there. So the first thing I'd like to say is our membership numbers, which we're ecstatic about. Glenn, okay. closer. Okay. Yeah? Better? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Easy, close enough to lick. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, exactly. Right. So, uh, uh, as of uh, the end of the month, we have, by the way, we had an enormously successful uh, Black Friday sale. We sold only a couple hundred memberships just that one weekend. Uh, and we're really, really proud and happy about our numbers. So, we have uh, 1,045 supporting memberships, uh, 2,457 attending memberships, and a total membership of um, 3,683, which makes us trending in between Shai Khan and uh, Long Khan. Our current membership rate as a full attending membership is 190, but, but, if you come talk to myself or her, Sally or Mike, this weekend, we'll extend our Black Friday sale to SMOFCON. That's a $20 discount. Come find us for the code word for the website, or we'll take it by square. Um, you know, we have squares around, we can give you the discount rate that way. Um, that's pretty much it by me. I will then turn you over to Mike. My name is Mike Walmuth. I'm the Vice Chair of Rebecca the House Divisions. I'm sure most people are interested in the information on the hotels. Um, we've just added a fifth hotel, and we're working on a sixth. Uh, we have not opened the fifth hotel yet because the CVB is catching up on the backlog of requests for um, room extensions. But we expect to do so in the middle of December. Uh, and the sixth one's being worked on right now. Uh, total rooms allocated, 63.55. We've got uh, 53.74 booked with the new block that's not open yet. We've got 981. Those are room nights. Um, we actually have room nights available at every hotel, but most of them are single nights here and there. For anybody who doesn't have a reservation, please get one of those room nights, get into the system, request an extension, and we'll fix it. As soon as that new hotel opens up, there's going to be a lot of shuffling and a lot of room nights are going to free up. So we expect that almost all the extensions should be resolved by the time that happens. Um, and as soon as uh, the CDB gets caught up, we'll release them to the public and we'll get hotel number six out as soon as we can. So to give you a perspective, uh, the original room nights, we have 5442 and we booked 98.75% of those. However, thanks to the CVB, they have gotten almost 300 more room nights off contract for us at the Doubletree. So we've got a lot more than we contracted. Uh, the overall booking versus the current block, we're at 84.56. So we've still got a ways to go, but we're working on it. I'll turn this over to Lori. Hi, my name is Lori Mann. I'm running the program. I'm running the program division, and I'm also kind of representing Pierre, who is not here. So I'll talk also a little bit about exhibits and about events. Um, so for exhibits, um, I know some of the information on dealers has gone out, and I believe the information on art show is about, you know, fairly soon to go out. Um, we don't have a lot of specifics for that yet, but I know Randy Smith will be working on that, and there'll be more later. Um, with events, we'll be kicking off with opening ceremonies. There will be a first night um, throughout the convention center on Wednesday night. Um, we'll have Hugo's, we'll have Masquerade. Um, our Hugo MCs are our guests of honor, uh, David Gerald and Tannery Du. So it's going to be a duo doing the Hugo's, which should be very interesting. And then we have Masquerade and closing ceremonies. For program, we've sent out 180 invitations so far uh, for panelists. We have about 40 acceptances. Um, we keep up 
um, who's coming on the website and also on Twitter all the time. And um, we have, um, sorry, we have 1,100, sorry, we have um, 800 program ideas from various sources and we've had about 600 volunteers. Six questions. Thank you. That uh, that that would normally we'd go into some other presentation, but we only let one WorldCon up at a time for any year. That's a bad plan. Um, okay. So uh, the uh, one of the questions I have is uh, you mentioned that your uh, membership numbers are between Shy between ShyCon and WorldCon, which first off is something to congratulate you guys on heavily. That's awesome. Um, but uh, do you have estimates for what you're thinking of for walk-in and day memberships yet? And how, and how are you projecting those in comparison to say what Shikon did? We're projecting. I haven't broken it out, but we've uh, we're projecting something like five thousand fifty one hundred total members. Fair enough. Uh, do you, uh, next question. Do you have any uh, proposed uh, theme or event for first night? I, I really can't answer that. I'm really sorry. I know a sort of things will be there will be music items, there will be art items, there will be parades, there will be all kinds of stuff. All right. Um, so uh, I know that you covered this in your briefing, and this is mostly I want to make sure that Mike hears this because this is he's probably the most appropriate to start answering this question. Um, so. Uh, Sasquatch's membership pickup is is outstanding. I, I want to say. Uh, Shikon's peak room nights for being slightly smaller pickup ended up at just over 2,000 rooms and from the FAQ you guys list less than 1,100 peak rooms. So I know that we were talking about room nights, but how far does the new facility get us up to peak rooms in, you know, what, when it comes online? How, many, how much has our peak rooms really expanded and is there any plan to go beyond that or is there any ability to go beyond that? The new hotel number five will bring us up from 1,100 to 1,200 rooms on the peak nights. Uh, adding hotel number six should add about another 100, and we're working on another 400 uh, once we get those taken care of. You get the other 400 by shuffling around from the, uh, from the current hotels? No, we're looking at adding an additional ah. 400 rooms on the peak nights if we can get them nearby. Okay. Do you have any idea when that might be coming online? Uh, okay. that, that's in negotiation. Fair, fair enough. They okay. can't predict. That's, I just wanted, wondered if you knew. Okay. And then, uh, final question is, uh, is not nearly as frightening as it sounds. Um, so budget management for Worldcon is, uh, is daunting. And you're about to enter what is the most scary part of any Worldcon's life. And anybody who's never been responsible for a budget at this point in Worldcon's life, you have no idea. Um, it's scary. Uh, at this point, do you feel like things are going well? Do you have anything that you're holding as like a significant thing that will add if things continue to go well or maybe get better? Or do you feel like you're going to ride out where you're going to try to write out your plan as is? Well, speaking as the budget person, at least, you know, you know, he's, a, he's, he's absolutely right. Uh, you know, we're working on a budget which, you know, is large and has elements of risk. And, but more importantly, it's the entrusted money of people who have given us that money in the expectation of a really good time. And that is, living up to that is, and to me, even more frightening in some ways than the actual budget risk numbers. You know, do the math and work things out and so on. Um, we, there are a couple of things that we're really excited about that we can't say. It's really unfortunate, but we have it. They're still in negotiations, and there's still some conversation. So there are some things that we are going to be adding, but we just can't say at the moment because we don't want to kill the golden goose, right? All right, fair enough. I believe that uh, ends QA time for Sasquatch, the 2015 Worldcon, and I thank you guys for giving us your time.